I'm going to show you my top five setup apps. If you're not familiar with setup, it's basically Netflix for Mac apps. It's about $10 a month and you get access to a library which is growing all the time. Right now you get access to about 215 apps. Okay, so the first app is OneSwitch. OneSwitch is just super convenient. Um, what that does is it gives you a really quick way to just do a whole lot of stuff. I'll show you. So one switch um, gives you switches like this. So you can switch on and off night mode or dark mode rather. Um, you can mute your microphone. You can hide your desktop icons. You can lock your screen, empty your pasteboard, eject your uh, external hard drive safely. Um, uh, empty your trash can, all sorts of things. And you can customize those switches um, in here so you can turn them on or off. It's just super convenient to have all those things um, easily available. So number two, Capto. Capto is awesome. So what Capto does is it lets you record your screen like I'm doing right now. I'm recording this with Capto and you can record your screen uh, while you record yourself on your camera. You can even do just regular screenshots. Um, it's really nice. Okay, next up, Luminar. So Luminar is really cool. It's um, a photo editing app, but it's super easy and it's using artificial intelligence to fix your photos. So it's very easy to use, I'll show you how. So. This is Luminar and I've just added a really old photo. This is like 12 years old and it's just not looking right. Like it's not, the sky isn't very blue. Nothing's just, the colors are just sort of, they look very washed out. So what Luminar does is it has all these filters and you just hover your mouse pointer over them and, and it shows you a preview of um, of the various filters and I'm just gonna go ahead and choose landscape for this one and just use AI landscape enhancer and it looks a lot better just by one click so this is before and this is after and it took me exactly one second to click that button so <laughs> It's, it's pretty good. This is the uh, before and after. So this is good if, if, if you're not very uh, good at Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, this is an easy way to fix your photo. So next up is CleanShot. So CleanShot is a very simple um, way to make screenshots and you can annotate those screenshots and put arrows on them and stuff like that. And you can also record your screen if you want. Okay, so CleanShot sits up here and you can choose uh, if you want to capture just an area of your screen or your entire screen or if you want to record your screen, stuff like that. So I'm just going to capture just an area of my desktop right now. Let's just capture this mountain. <laughs> okay, so um, it gives me the option to save the screenshot or copy it or uh, you can upload it to their cloud service or you can annotate it. So I'm going to annotate mine. There we go. So right now I can um, say I can put an arrow or two pointing to somewhere. You can uh, add a piece of text. Okay, so here is treasure. <laughs> Okay, let's make that a little bit nicer. There we go. And you can also make part of your image um, look blurry. Like if you want to hide something, you got a password there or something. Okay, so next up is touch retouch. Photo correction for busy people. <laughs> and it really is like, um, if, if you want to remove something from a photo, it's basically just clicking on it and it goes away. I'll show you how. Okay, so let's just take this photo again. It's a really crappy photo from uh, 
a long time ago, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to remove things. So I'm just going to remove this name on this boat right here. I'm just going to use this quick repair tool. And I'm just going to mark the name and boom, it's gone. Okay, let's do that again with um, it's a building of something up here. Yeah, it's a building, I think. I'm just going to click on it. Um, draw a little bit. Boom, gone. Let's do that again. This time I'm going to use object removal. I'm just going to draw like this and then click go. Let's try and remove something big. Let's just remove the whole boat. Yeah. Let's remove both of those. There we go. I have no idea how this is going to go. Let's go. Okay, so we remove both of the boats, but it doesn't look very good. Okay, so there you have it. That's um, my top five setup apps. Um, I'm, I'm just going to show you real quick. Like this is, these are all the apps that you can um, access right now. There are 215 of them. I only used like 10, but are quite, quite a lot. And some of them are really good and are really expensive too if you if you buy them individually. So you can either go to set up and get seven days for free, or you can click the link down below in the description of this video and they'll actually give you 30 days for free. So I would do that. Okay, so I wanna know, have you tried set up? What are your top five set up apps? And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching.